Amari. You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? Well, you know, took a radiation bath, hung out with a big green guy, then I pulled this encoded chip out of a courser's neck. He was not happy. A courser chip? You fought a courser? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. Thanks, Doc. How do I find them? I can't contact them directly. They usually come to me when they have a synth that's escaped the Institute and wants new memories. But I do have a code phrase. Some kind of clue if I ever needed to find them on my own. Follow the Freedom Trail. Any idea what the code phrase means? I'm not sure. But I remember there was a pre-war landmark with a similar name. I'd start there. Hopefully they've placed other clues to tell you where to go after that. Hidden somewhere in plain sight. That's how they think. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic. But hopefully you can figure things out as you go.
Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? Dr. Amari told me how to find you. Very interesting. Last question. Why are you here? Let's say, hypothetically, I've come into possession of a coarser chip. Would you be able to help? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the coarser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a coarser? Single-handedly? Oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this coarser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a coarser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Hopefully, we can work something out. What you're asking for puts us in a tricky position. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that! He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Oh, hey, Dad. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a coarser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the coarser chip. Why do you want the Courser chip? Institute tech is light years beyond what we have. And a Courser chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Courser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Show me that sweet base number. Come on, baby. There we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Excuse me. If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? 
Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs, normally we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Ahem. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Caution can often be misinterpreted as hostility. I've seen it happen before. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Too bad. I was hoping to get some beer money out of it. If you're picking up the tab, never mind. Go for it. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. I'm not sure if I want to work with you guys. Here's my one and only sales pitch. Do you support synth freedom? I'm not asking if you die for them, just if you agree that they shouldn't be slaves. Whether it's synths or humans, I'm against slavery. Follow up. Would you be willing to risk your life to stop the Institute and their nefarious plans? I can't believe I just said that. Someone has to stop them. Excellent. Every one of us believes in synths getting a fair chance, but some agents aren't really risking their necks for that. They put their asses on the line to hurt the Institute, and the Railroad's all right with that. So the Railroad's not really about ideals, it's about revenge. That's not fair. For most of us, the cause is everything. But we can't turn away people who'd risk their lives helping us just because they don't say the synth pledge of allegiance loud enough. Sales pitch over. If you want to walk away, here's your chance. Still not interested. Maybe when you see more out there, you'll be back. The Institute has a habit of stepping on people's toes with a jackhammer. Good luck. <laughs>